Example 5. Commission. A real estate agent has a commission rate of 3%. In other words, they sell something, they get 3% of the sales price. Okay. If a piece of property sells for $125,000, what is her commission? <coughs> Press pause, do it by yourself, then check the video. And by all means, write the question out if you want to uh, understand it a little bit better. Okay. Okay, I hope you've pressed pause and tried it. I hope you've given yourself at least four or five minutes just to try it. And now we'll go through it on the video together. Okay. What I want to get is 3% of 125,000, correct? And that's what I'll, I'll have to do. So turn 3% into a decimal. And what does that become? <coughs> Well, 3%, once again, I'll just remind you, is 3 per 100. 3 hundredths. As a decimal, then, that's 0 0.03. 3 hundredths. Of course, we can just take this decimal point, move it one, two spaces to the left, <coughs> stick in a placeholder 0, we'll get 0 0.03. Or 0 0.03. So 3% is a decimal, 0 0.03. Of means what? Of is multiply by 125,000. So, all I have to what I need to do is take 125,000 and take 0 0.03 and multiply. So, 3 zeros is 0, 3 zeros is 0, 3 zeros is 0. 3 fives is 15, carry the 1. 3 twos is 6 and 1 is 7. 3 ones is 3. I have 1 two decimal places in the question, so I need one, two decimal places in the answer. So I get three, seven, oh, that's the decimal point there, three, seven, five, zero, okay? And that's a dollar amount, three thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars. Piece of property sells for that amount, her commission is three thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars. So selling one of those a month would probably do, right? Example 6. Find purchase price given commission. If a car salesperson gets 11% commission on all the cars he sells, what is the price of a car if his commission is $935? So, look, um, this is the 11% commission. So you're given the commission amount you're given the commission rate, you have to then calculate what was the original price. Okay? Um, now, the, the price, you know, the, it's the price without the commission added on to it, just the, the actual price of the car. Okay? Well, well, sorry, sorry, long, long story. Yeah, it's the price of the car, you know what I mean. Please press pause, give yourself, you know, four minutes to try it yourself and see if you can get the answer and then we'll walk through it on the video and you can check your answer and, and get help if you need it. Okay, so please press pause and by all means write this out first. Write it out and give yourself, let's say, four or five minutes. Just try it yourself and see how far you get. Okay. Okay, I hope you've pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to do it with you now. Alright, a salesperson gets 11% commission on all the cars he sells. What is the price of a car if his commission is $935? In other words, 11% <coughs> of what is that? Or this is 11% of what number? You could do it that way. It doesn't really matter. You could say $935 is 11% of what number? That's another way of doing it. Right? Or you could go 11% um, of what number is 935, right? So there's, I might, might as well write them out. There's another way. 11% of what number is 935? I'm just writing out two different ways of doing it because they're both correct. So either way, you can turn either of these into an equation and solve it, right? 
So any case, in any case, let's um, do this. We'll do the bottom one because we've done this one the most. So we gotta turn all of these into something, okay? So press pause and turn this into an equation. Turn this into an equation. You've gotta put the 11% as a decimal. What is of, what do you do with what number, what do you do with this, what do you do with this. So press pause and do the whole thing yourself. Okay, have you tried it? Hope you hope you tried it. 11% as a decimal. Move this one, two spaces to the left, we get 0.11, or 0 0.11. Of means multiply. Multiply by what number? What number? N, the letter N, is equals 935, okay? So you have 0 0.11 times N equals 935. If you want to write it out like this, 0 0.11 times N, you know, like this if you like, equals 935, just to make it a little bit neater, that's, that's fine. But in any case, to get N by itself, what do we need to do? N is being multiplied by 0 0.11, so to get rid of the 0 0.11 we need to divide by the same number and now these guys will cross cancel they'll leave ones and you must divide by this by 0 0.11 also so I get n equals and then I just need to do the division on this right so I have 0 0.11 into 935 now let's move the decimal point one two spaces to the right and also on the here you see it goes one two spaces to the right giving us a couple of zeros on that so this becomes the number eleven and this is nine three five zero zero now what does that become eleven into ninety three nine elevens is ninety nine so that will be one less than nine elevens it'd be eight elevens is eighty eight right 8 elevens, 88. Subtract, what's 93 minus 88? It's 5, right? Bring this 5 down. What's 11 into 55? 5, right? 5 elevens, 55. Subtract, 0. And then 11 in, and that's the remainder 0, but look, 11 into 0 goes 0 times. 11 into this 0 goes 0 times. So you still need a couple of zeros at the end. Don't forget that. Okay. So we end up with n equals 8500. What does n represent? The car salesperson gets $935 and we were looking for the price of the car. Price of the car was the number. 935 is 11% of 8,500 apparently, right? The answer is $8,500. $8,500, okay?